Hey, I was a PHP developer myself. That was one of the first real web centered language that I learned. I mastered it, built a lot of applications on it. But hey, guess what? Nothing stays the same. It's 2017 right now. And if you're still using PHP, yes, you might find a job. There are a lot of jobs. But first of all, you'll have to compete with a lot of developers from uh, typically those developers, they charge they could charge very low rates. They really, they, they're not coming from the first world countries. They can charge $5 per hour. So if you're okay with making $5 per hour, then yeah, PHP could be good for you because there are a lot of applications that are built on PHP, like WordPress. WordPress is super popular. Magento, Shopify, there are, yes, there are a lot of applications in PHP, but that's not the future. Ruby on Rails, used to be good about 10 years ago, not anymore. Node.js, it's the thing right now. Node.js getting mainstream. It's not just for hipsters and startups anymore. So check out my guide, PHP versus Node.js on my blog, webuplog.com. And also I have a link in this email to the Short guide, how to get started with Node.js if you are a PHP developer. If you, if you were like me, a PHP developer, and you decide to shift, to make that shift, this is the best time because you still can charge high rates for Node.js. There's not that many good Node.js developers, but the tooling and the libraries, they're more mature than they were five or six years ago when I was just joining the Node.js tribe, the Node.js community, the stack, the full stack JavaScript. What is the future of Node.js? It's pretty much great because it's a unique phenomenon. It runs on JavaScript and guess what? JavaScript is the only language natively supported in the browsers. Maybe there are cooler technologies like Elixir or Go but they don't run natively in the browser. You need to some um, to convert the code somehow. Yes, to Node.js, it's here to stay at least for the next 5, 10, 15, probably 20 years. It's used in a lot of platforms, in mobile, in backend, in databases, in deployment, in drones, in copters, in robotics, in big data and artificial intelligence. So check out my guide if you are a PHP developer. If you are not a PHP developer, still check out my guide and check out the premium subscription ship at Node University as well. I'm sure you will find a lot of great resources. Doesn't matter what is your level in Node.js and JavaScript. We have courses for all levels. I'll see you later. Bye bye.